Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Mike and you guys are watching Mr. Mike 12,000. So in this week's video, I am going to be talking about my top three back to school laptops. Now I did say laptops, I'm not talking about tablets in this or two in one laptops, but if you do want to see those videos as well, please give this video a big thumbs up, show some support, and tell me in the comments which video you do want to see. Um, so this video is going to be targeted to the top three back to school laptops. I am going to range them from the lowest price to the highest price. So without further ado, do let's get right into it so the first laptop I want to talk about is a $400 laptop and it is by HP it is the HP pavilion 15.6 inch touchscreen laptop now the reason why I like this laptop are a ton of reasons one because it's cheap uh, two depending on what you're doing uh, in your education career um, in your college career whatever it may be um, you may not need a super expensive laptop, but at the same time, you do need one that's going to get the job done, and this is going to help you. HP is a great company uh, when it does come to laptops. Uh, they do let, I've had an HP before, and it's lasted me three to four years, um, so that should be enough time for those college students out there. Also, another thing that I do want to point out is it's touchscreen, so that's another cool feature about this laptop. Uh, it is a 15.6 inch screen, uh, so that is going to come to your benefit when you're writing those papers or when you're doing those projects for high school or whatever it may be. Um, also, I do want to point out that it's an i3 processor, which means that it's not the fastest one, um, but it is going to get the job done, like I said. Uh, most college students I do know have a i3 or an i5 processor in their laptop. Uh, depending on what you're majoring in, so that should help you out a little. I hope it does. Um, also, it has 500 gigabytes hard drive, so you're going to need that when you're writing the papers. Not going to take up that much space for papers, but if you have to do a presentation, that's going to take up a little more space uh, because then you got to create all the PowerPoint stuff and all of the stuff that you're putting into the PowerPoint does affect the size of the file. Uh, so, 500 gigabytes of hard drive is a very good. Um, starting point for space, memory, whatever you want to call it. Um, and this does have a four gigabyte memory, um, like I said, 400 gigabytes memory, 500 gigabytes hard drive. Uh, so this is a great starting laptop. Um, it does start at $400. If you are just writing papers for college and you are just um, creating PowerPoints and just using it for simple things, uh, this one's the one to go with. And all the links will be in the description box below, so look for it. But this is the HP Pavilion 15.6 touchscreen laptop. I looked it up, I researched it a little, and this is what you guys need if, again, you're just using it for simple um, Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, uh, just presentations of writing papers, and you want something that's stylish, thin, and super, super light. Um, so this is the Apple MacBook Air 13.3 inch. Um, I think this is going to get the job done for you guys. So it's only weighing in, not even at 3 pounds, it's 2.96 pounds. Uh, so that's already a deal killer, that's awesome. Um, it's $900 plus tax, so it doesn't even break $1,000, but it probably will be around it uh, with tax added on to it. Uh, also, it is an Intel Core i5, uh, so it is faster than the HP that I just talked about. Um, now, there are, if you guys are not familiar with the processors, there is an i3, i5, and i7. i7 is the fastest processor out right now on the market. Then you have the i5, which is the second, and then you have the one that most people have in their laptops an i3. Intel Core i5, very fast processor, so it's going to get the job done for you. Um, it has 4 gigs memory, 128 uh, gigabytes flash drive, or flash storage. Um, so it doesn't have that much space. Um, the HP does have more space than this MacBook Air, uh, but if you do need something that's small, um, light, thin, this is the one to go with, the Apple MacBook Air. And again, like I said before, all the links will be in the description box below, so go check them out and see what you guys want for your buy. All right, everyone, so my third laptop on the back to school list. Many people have been asking me, I've had four or five people already text me, Mike, which laptop should I get for college? Mike, which laptop should I get for high school for my presentations in Microsoft Word uh, because my laptop just broke? And if they wanted an expensive one, 
this is the one I went with. Uh, so this is a customized one actually on Apple.com. I will have the link in the description box below for this um, as well. It does run $3,200. Um, so it is a very expensive laptop. This one is the 15 inch MacBook Pro with a Retina display. Now, let me start off with not even going into the specs yet. The reason why this laptop is $3,200, well one, it's customized, Two, it's 15 inches, so it's Apple's biggest uh, laptop that you could get, the biggest screen. Also, it's a MacBook Pro, so this this baby's gonna do everything for you. Um, so for specifically like what I'm doing for my film majors, this one is the laptop I would say to get. Um, so this is customized, a 2.8 gigahertz quad core Intel core um, i7 processor and it could boost up to 4.0 gigahertz which is super super fast. Um, also it has a one terabyte uh, based flash storage so you're going to have a lot of space on your laptop and I highly recommend it. If you're gonna be using Final Cut Pro, um, that is another $300 added onto it. Um, so you're probably looking at $3,400, $3,500 for the laptop uh, if you do get the program installed. Um, but this is the most expensive one. This is the 15 inch MacBook Pro with front of display, um, one terabyte flash storage, and 2.8 gigahertz Intel Core i7 processors. So yeah, this baby is gonna be whipping fast for you and if you got the money to spend, get it, because if you do need it, you're going to be happy you got it in the long run. So to end this video, I'm just briefly going to talk about the laptop and desktop I have uh, personally. So the laptop I have is an HP 17.3, I believe, inch touchscreen laptop, i7 processor, and one terabyte of storage. Uh, so that's good for all the movie editing and things I need to do on it. Um, it has Microsoft Word on it and it's an absolute beast. Link for that will also be in the description box below. Now on the desktop side, um, I do have a bigger beast. I have an Apple iMac 5K display, three terabytes of storage, um, and it also has an i7 processor as well. Um, this thing is an animal. I have Final Cut Pro X installed onto it. Um, I'm getting a ton of other programs onto it, but this thing's an absolute beast. Um, the quality resolution of it is phenomenal. It's 5K, um, but yeah. They're the two laptops, desktops I have, and yeah. So that's it for this video, guys. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns about any of the laptops or the one iMac 5K display that I named, uh, please leave it in the comments box below. Um, Remember to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and subscribe to Mr. My 12,000 for the greatest landis, updates, blogs, and reviews. I am out, guys. See you in my next video. This has been Mr. My 12,000, and have a good week. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.